All right. Happy Thursday, BBE family. Um, today I am talking about one of like the most frustrating topics. One of the questions that I see most often in our Facebook group. Um, it's a, it's a question that like we get emails about, we get DMs about on Instagram, we get D, we get messages, you know, on Facebook. Like it's one of the most frustrating pieces of being a photographer is trying to get skin tones to look like skin tones. Um, you know, I, I feel like this isn't even like one of the, like you don't even quite know that this is a problem until like you look at your photos, you're done editing them and you're like, why doesn't this look right? Like there's something off, there's something off. Well, if there's something off nine or 10 times, it's probably to do with their skin and what their skin looks like. And our goal as photographers is to make sure that our clients look the best they can possibly look, if not even a little bit better. Like that is our goal for photographers. Um, anytime that I have received a image back of myself, there's two things that I'm looking for. Like, do I look good? Does my skin look good? And do I look good, you know? And so posing comes in with like the looking good part, but like the three things that I'm going to be talking about today, the three, um, must haves, the three secrets, um, for getting accurate, glowy skin tones, the skin tones that we all want and need in our images. Um, that's what we're gonna be focusing on today. So if you are joining live, say hello. Tell us where you're from. Let me know that you're here. If you're watching the replay, hashtag replay so I can see how many of you guys are watching in the future. Um, I can get to know your names. I can see who you are. If you ask questions, I'll, I'll know who you are. And so um, if you're watching live, say hello. If you're watching the replay, hashtag replay. I'd love to get to know you guys a little bit better. Love to see who's participating in this group. Um, so, here we go. Oh, and before we begin, if you have not already, if you just found Brittany Bruce Education, if this is your first video you're ever watching and you didn't know, I have a free beginner photography class. It's a little under an hour. It's got a lot of meat. Um, it's where you need to start. It's where our academy, academy members have started. It's where our coaching members have started. It's where our mastermind alum, it's where everybody starts. And it kind of, it's like boot camp. In less than an hour, like you can go out and shoot a beautiful professional image. I'm teaching you um, the five essential things you need because it's a little overwhelming of like all the things that you need. Five essential things you need to start. I'm teaching you the simplest, like literally, the simplest way to shoot in manual mode, my simple BB manual mode way, and the one type of light you need to look for and shoot in to get a professional looking image. This is the class that I've created for you. I'm using my students as examples so you get to see real life um, BB students uh, who you've probably seen their names in here before. I feel like I have a hair on my lip. I think I got it. Um, and this is where you need to start. If you're brand spanking new and you're like, Brady, I need help. I'm going to need you to click the link around this video. I'm going to need you to get out a lot of notebook paper, your favorite pens, and schedule yourself an hour for just you to learn how to be a photographer. That's what this class is about. So if you tuned in to like get amazing skin tones, but you're like not getting the rest, the, the basics, start there first and then come back and watch this video. So here we go. Th three secrets to get amazing looking skin tones. It's going to all start with shooting in good light. Well, Brittany, that's really simple and easy. You say that all the time, but what the heck is good light? Good light to start at as a brand new photographer, I want you to look for 
open shade. This is one of the things that I talk about in the free beginner class, okay? Open shade is going to be the easiest place to start. It's going to give you the most glowy skin tones. You're not gonna have to fight the sun. You're not gonna have to worry about diffused backlighting. You're not gonna have to worry about anything because you're looking for this one light. It's called open shade. Great, Brittany, what the heck is open shade? Okay, open shade, all this is, is you can find it mostly um, around the golden hour time frame, which is two to three hours before sunset. So one, two to three hours before sunset, that's when you can find it the most. You can find it any time of the day, but you can find it easily toward the end of the day or the early, early, early morning, okay? What open shade is, is whenever you look at the ground and you see shade, you all know what this is, right? You all know what shade is, right? Here's a tree and then it casts a shadow, right? That's shade. You know how to stand in shade. Open shade is when you stand in shade, but when you look up, you have access to the sky. So you're not over an awning. You're not over anything. You're not underneath the tree. Y'all, I can't tell you how many times I'll like drive by. Um, there's just like a really popular spot in Central where it's like this huge oak tree and photographers are leading their clients underneath this like oak tree. Here's the problem with that is that your clients are going to have muddy skin tones, dark circles, raccoon eyes, and they're not going to be cute. Okay. Open shade. If you want to shoot next to an oak tree, what you need to do is instead of underneath the, tr the tree limbs, you put them in the shade cast by the tree, but make sure when you're, you and your clients look up, you have access to the sky. Why is this important? When you have access to the sky, when your clients are in shade, but they can see the sky, that open sky is going to create fill light that's going to help fill any kind of shadows that will be caused by any kind of shade, okay? So open shade is when your clients are standing in shade and, and also know this, this is the most even type of light, okay? So if you're in shade, that means the sun's behind you, right? If you're in shade, the sun's behind you because if you have a tree, sun's here, this is where the shade is. So make sure you face your clients away from the sun, they're in open shade, they have access to the sky, that's gonna be step one the first step in creating gorgeous skin tones, okay? If, I like, I can't tell you how many times, like, I see, you know, whether it's you guys posting or other people, you know, asking, they're like, something's wrong. It's because the lighting is spotty on their face. They've got crazy color reflection, you know, which I'm gonna get to that in a minute. Um, if they're standing in grass and there's harsh light, they're not in open shade, um, they're going to have a green color cast on their face or they're next to like red bricks. They're going to have red, to, you know, color cast on their face and it just doesn't look like skin. Okay. Good light, open shade is the first step. Like you can't skip this step. If you want gorgeous skin, the easiest way to get there is putting your clients in open shade. Okay, so your homework after you watch this video is wait a couple more hours, wait until this, this evening, and go on a treasure hunt for open shade. See if you can find, okay, here's shade provided by this building, provided by my house, provided by this tree, whatever. This is open shade because if I stand here, I'm in shade and I see this guy. Am I getting through? <laughs> this is open shade, okay? If you watch the free beginner class, I have stick figures and graphics and all the things so you can see. I have examples so, so you can actually see it. Of course, I don't have that for the live. Okay, this is gonna lead me to step two, the second secret. Step two of what you need to do in order to get clean skin tones for your clients. And that is making sure that they're standing on a natural reflector. What's a natural reflector? Well, let me tell you. A natural reflector is any light colored ground 
that you can put your clients in, like concrete, sand, um, even a light dirt road, um, dead grass could be a natural reflector if it's like light enough, like wheaty looking. Um, and then the long flowy grass is a, is a natural reflector. Why is this important? Let me give you a quick fifth grade science lesson. Okay. When the sun travels at a bajillion hours an hour, I don't even, I can't remember. I'm not that great fifth grade science. It's going really, really fast. That light is traveling super fast. If you're smart and you know the actual travel velocity, then let me know in the comments. The sunlight is traveling super fast. And so when it hits something, it's going to bounce that same color back, okay? So let's just put ourselves on a green golf course, okay? Green, short grass. We're like high noon, we're not in open shade, okay? Where it's just like really harsh light. What's going to happen if you put your clients there in harsh light on a green, harsh green ground, that sun is going to hit the green grass and it's gonna cause what's called color cast. Green color cast is gonna kinda like fill in like their neck, under their eyes, anywhere that there's like shade or a shadow, it's gonna be green. Same thing with any other color. Do not wear hot pink to a session because what's gonna happen when you're trying to like, okay, Johnny, let's take a photo, and you're wearing a hot pink shirt, the sun is gonna hit your hot pink shirt and cause hot pink color cast into your client's face, okay? Thank you, Chris, 186,000 miles per second. That's really fast. So, green, hot pink, do not wear hot pink. I always typically like to wear gray or white. This is gonna help with skin tones. That's what we're talking about today, okay? If you can wear white, that's gonna cause a clean light to fill in any shadows in their face. So, put them on a natural reflector in open shade. If you're like, Brittany, I don't have the luxuries of living in the desert or next to concrete or whatever. I'm in the country where all we have is grassy fields. Me too, friend. Like, I live in Podunk Watson. Like, that's all we got down here. So, what I do at into every session is I bring my handy dandy reflector. Okay? I bring my own reflector. It's not natural reflector. It's man-made but it still does the job, okay? It also has this handy dandy handle, okay? And so what I do, you're like, well, Brittany, I don't have an assistant, I don't have those luxuries of life. I don't either, okay? So what I do is I have my reflector right here and I will use this hand to shoot like this and shoot like this and I do all my settings with my thumb and my forefinger the manual mode settings that you'll that you'll learn in the free beginner class that you're going to take after this, okay? So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to find an open shade. I'm going to do my best to find a natural reflector to put my clients on so that I have a clean light filling their face instead of green or any other color that I don't want. Um, and if I don't have a natural reflector, I'm going to bring my own. Now, just to be completely honest, I just like to simplify my life as much as possible because I got four kids and I'm stressed out most of the time. So I try to like cut as many corners and keep my life as simple as possible. I will bring this to every session. I will use it in open shade. I will use it in any kind of light because it's just easy and I don't have to think. I just hold it and it's my little buddy. And my clients have amazing scent on. So we use this. And the more you practice with your reflector, the better you'll get at it. Okay, so just to recap before I get to number three, put your clients in good light. Start with open shade. It's the simplest, most easiest light to find to put your clients in that's going to give them pretty glowy skin. Number two, place your clients on a natural reflector, concrete, gravel, sand, um, dead grass, uh, desert. Uh, um, did I say gravel? Um, 
Did I say dead grass? I don't know. I think I'm repeating myself. Um, long flowy grass. Quick, quick science lesson here. Okay. Long flowy grass. Why can you shoot on long flowy grass, but not short grass? Let me, it's, it's science. Here we go. When you have long flowy grass, okay, and you put your clients there and the sun comes in, it's going to not directly bounce that green back into their face like a, you know, rubber band. What's going to happen is the sun is going to hit the long flowy grass and it's going to disperse the light. So it's not as like a harsh green coming back up. Um, okay, there's your science, couple science lessons here today. All right, last but not least, the third and final secret to getting amazing skin tones is turning your white belt balance off of auto. Like, you have to stop using auto white balance. Why? Because your auto white balance is not you. It's not very smart. It does a good job. It does a decent job when you're starting. Like, yes, if you're brand new and you're like, I need um, to figure out manual mode, I need to practice lighting, by all means, shoot an auto white balance. But when you're like, I've got manual mode down, I know light, I understand light, I can find open shade, you know, I, I get it, I got my reflector, but there's something missing. It's because you need to turn your white balance off of auto, and I want you to practice shooting in Kelvin white balance, okay? Kelvin white balance is simply put a scale, okay? A scale of color. And what this scale of color is, is think about bath water, okay? When you turn on your bath water, what do we do? We put our hand underneath the water and we turn it on and we're trying to get the perfect temperature. The perfect temperature, not too hot, not too cold, not too warm, not too cool. Kelvin is gonna get your white balance, not too blue, not too yellow or orange. It's gonna get it just right, which is gonna directly impact the skin. If your whites are white, which is what Kelvin white balance does, it's super, super simple. And I have a video that I can link below for you if you're like, I wanna learn Kelvin white balance, but it freaks me out. I break it down for you. I'm gonna link the video below and you can watch it after this one. Okay, what you're going to want to do is use Kelvin White Balance to get your whites to look as white as possible. It's like a bath water, not too cold, not too hot, just right, okay? Because when your whites are white and balanced, your skin is going to look like skin. Your gray is going to look like gray. Your yellows are going to look like yellow. Your reds are going to look like red. Your blues are going to look like blue. Okay, and it all starts with white and white balance, okay? And I know this is a lot. If you're brand spanking new and you haven't watched the free beginner class yet, I know that this is a lot, but this is totally learnable and totally doable and totally implementable. And you can do this today, okay? If you've got it down and you're like, I just need to practice with my skin tones. I need to make sure I have my skin tones good. Number one, give yourself some grace if you're brand new and know that your eye is going to be trained over time. Your eye is going to be trained over time. I did not start out with just eyeballing perfect white balance when I first started. I thought I was getting a pretty accurate white balance and like my skin tones. I'm like, oh yeah, this looks perfect. This looks so good. And then I look back and I'm like, holy crap. My people look like Smurfs. Like, what was I doing? Like, how did I think this looked okay? It's just over time, getting better, getting more mature in your art, in your craft, you're going to get those skin tones looking better and better and better and better over time. So give yourself some grace. Hey, if you're just tuning in, here it is. Three secrets to get really beautiful, glowy skin tones. Number one, put your clients in really good light, which is called open shade. All you have to do is go out, 
during golden hour and try to find shade cast by a building, cast by a tree, look up and when you see the sky, you're in open shade. Number two, is make sure you put your clients on a natural reflector. This is going to make sure, make your skin tones look glowy because the sun is bouncing clean light back into your client's face instead of a color cast, okay? And then last but not least, turn your, your white balance off of auto. Time to grow up a little bit. Turn it off of auto and turn it to Kelvin white balance, okay? And again, I'm going to post the link of like how to use Kelvin White Balance, how to, how to do this, um, in the, um, or somewhere around this video. I'm not quite sure if it's going to be down here. I don't know where it's going to be, um, but I'll add that link. It's a YouTube video and add that link so you can start learning about Kelvin White Balance and, and start practicing and implementing it. So what do I do now? This is a crap ton of information. Number one action step is Go outside with your spouse, go outside with your kid, go outside with your dog, and look for open shade. Step one, just start trying to identify, put your dog, your kid, your spouse, whoever, in open shade, and take a photo. Just, just take a photo and see what you get, okay? Bonus, if you can put them in open shade and a natural reflector. If you don't have a lot of places with a natural reflector, um, this is the one I have, the handheld reflector. It's Elastolite. I don't, I think this is backwards, it's okay. Um, Elastolite reflector, really any kind of white reflector with a handle will do. Mine's like a triangle shape, just cause it's small, it's not as like bulky as a circle. If you have a circle, reflector it's fine just make sure it has a handle so that you can start practicing using your um your reflector you don't need an assistant i mean if you have one great but like i get the the most beautiful skin tones just by doing this because the sun literally bounces it right back into their face and i'm able to do my thing blah, 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 and i coach them behind my camera um, and then last but not least, I want you to join, uh, no, not yet. I want you to watch the Kelvin white balance video, take a lot of notes and start practicing, start practicing. You're going to suck at first, but that's okay. You're supposed to suck at first. You'll get better and better and better the more you practice. Okay. Um, and then last but not least, join me in the free beginner photography class. You're going to learn a crap ton of stuff that you don't already know. Promise you. Um, make sure you have your camera out. Make sure you have a notebook. Make sure you have, make sure you have your pen. A ton of notes. Um, it's there for you, and it's free. All of this is free. All of it. Every week I'm here for free. Your free class is free. Utilize this information and then go implement it and see what you're capable of. It'll change your life. So I love you guys. I hope this was helpful. I'm going to go back. If you have any questions, just put them here in the comments and I'll go back and answer them all. Um, I love you guys. And I hope this was valuable to you. I hope this was useful to you. And I will see you next week.